What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Ross. Here with Pursuit with Cause Ball. And today we're going to review Kick 2. That's right, Kick 2. Alright. Yeah, my thoughts, my opinion on this movie. First of all, just answer the general question. No, it's not better than the first one. Is it worth seeing in theaters? I would say yes. Because it has, you know, the basic formula of the first one, the comedy and action that's there, but there are definitely some flaws in it that um, hurts the film. Uh, start out with some, uh, you know, some of what this film is about. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! About to get some spoilers. Basically, you know, you saw the first one. Uh, Nicholas Cage character died. Um, so Hit Girl is now staying with Morris Chestnut. Yes, she got her Black Guardian. Okay, she's staying with Morris Chestnut, and he's the Guardian now. He was a friend of father on the police force, and now brother Morris Chestnut is Guardian. He's very overprotective. Doesn't allow her to be Hit Girl. Uh, kind of reminds her that you know her, your father died being you know the superhero. I don't want you to do the same thing. So he makes her make the promise um, that she would stop being hit girl. And and so for the next three fourths of the film, she pretty much tries to adjust to life after being hit girl and being a teenage girl, you know, liking boys and you know, hanging out and stuff like that. The positive of it, I think that the you know the actress who plays Hit Girl can really act, and I would even go as far as saying I think she's going to have an easy job transitioning from a childhood actress to an adult actress. Um, as long as she don't do that Amanda Bynes stuff and lose her mind or get on some drugs, she should be fine. Ooh, I was rapping right there, let me leave that alone. But anyway. She does a great job, and you know you can get into her emotions. Whether she's, you know, trying to fit in, whether she's crying, things of that sort. Um, she just does a great job. I love watching her act. Um, but at the same time, there's a definitely a serious tone to this movie, and it's the same old plot that you've been seeing in all these superhero movies where. People are trying to stop being superheroes and all this crap. It's the same old type of thing. And you have the same thing with Kick character. He does not want to be a superhero as well at first. Um, well, not at first, but there, there's a point in time when he stops wanting to be a hero. And, you know, it's the same type of thing. Uh... But some positive Jim Carrey character. Uh, Jim Carrey uh, character is a born again Christian. He doesn't allow people to take the Lord's name of vain. Um, he sort of, for lack of a better word, sort of like a, a Nick Fury. He's he heads up this new hero team, which includes Kick. Who's on the team, and um, they, they get some other people who are superheroes throughout the town. They got this one girl who's a freak. Um, she just likes to have sex. She's a freak. Uh, they got a married couple. They got a gay guy. They got a black guy. And they all form this sort of this superhero type of thing. And Jim Carrey does, you know, what I'm saying a good job. Um, I don't agree with him, of course, with his stance on this movie. Uh, this isn't like Sandy Hook, where you have some evil guy just killing innocent people. The killing in this is, you know, justified. Um, now, remember from the first one, McLovin, his character, um, well, he's the boss now. You know, his father died as well. And McLovin does that excellent job he's funny I mean he's a cool villain like he does an excellent job 
and he's another person along with his girl who really carries this film. Um, I really enjoy he he gets together a group of villains as well. Uh, one that really stands out with you will see is a woman by the name of Mother Russia. Like she, I mean, there's one scene where she puts the beat down on everybody and just shows she's not a villain to be messed with. She was dope. Um, the violence in this one is definitely, I won't say more violent, but it's a different kind of violence. Like, it's more sort of like Kill Bill. Uh, I, I felt like more like Kill Bill at time instead of the silly, exaggerated violence that was in the first one. It's a little bit more of a serious tone, which, you know, fits the theme of this movie. It's just a little bit too serious for me. I just wanted to enjoy this mindless action. But they really try to emphasize, you know, this is not a, a comic book. And, this is real life and all this type of crap, man. They really hurt the film. But, like I said, overall, though, I could recommend it. Am I saying you have to see this in theater? No, you can enjoy this as well at home as well. But, I mean, it's a good film, but not what it should be. So that's my thoughts, man. I love to hear yours. We'll see what cause blog. Hope you set some out. Trip.